What's going on everybody? Welcome back to Built and Race and I think tonight we're actually taking Salty to the local track and putting Salty down a prep surface for the first time. Since I got it done, I wanted to go put this thing on a radio prep, go real, real fast. And we've been doing a lot of no prep, but I brought it back. We had a little leak with the valley cover. I don't think I ever torqued the valley cover bolts quite right. Clean that up. Kind of fixed the throttle cable. I think I tightened everything up. Everything should be good. I still need to shorten some, but we're going to get rolling to the track here. Kind of ran out of time. Over this last week, I've actually been working on the hood and uh, I put all the little Zeus holes on here. It will Zeus on, but I need to still add the Zeus right here in this spot, and uh, then we'll be good to go with the hood. So holding off on this so it's not flapping and hitting the windshield, but I need to find a good little mount that will go right here on the fiberglass bolt in there and then sit there and have a Zeus. I actually have some universal weld on ones I think will work, but we'll see. But I just did a fresh oil change, got everything I think tightened back up from pulling the intake off, and uh, we're gonna see. Salty will fire up. I didn't plug the oil pressure sensor in the back back in but let's double check and yep that would help with the oil pressure there it is miss that also one thing you'll notice is salty does not have the bullhorns I actually still have the bullhorns there right there but for the class that I wanted to run this weekend up in Bandemir PSCA event I was not able to make it you gotta have the hood on you gotta have everything ready to go for that one of the rules is you can't have an exhaust more than two inches past the uh, outside of the car. So I made another set of exhaust, shorten them up. We'll see how I like that on the car too. But uh, either way, now if I have a race that doesn't allow like bull horns or long exhaust outside the fender, we have a legal exhaust for that. So that's all the stuff I've kind of been working on just slowly each night, trying to get ready for this weekend to go race, but just didn't work out. Didn't want to rush it. And I really just want to go get some testing on some decent prep at the track. <laughs> Salty is in the trailer, ready to go. Got a big old storm over here. Hopefully it doesn't show up, but we're gonna head out to the track, get unloaded, and see if we can make some passes tonight. Yeah, Salty out here. Weather looks like it's taken off and moved over that way. So hopefully we'll go and make some passes and get it checked in and uh, go from there. Otherwise, see what this thing can do. Hopefully we go PB tonight. We'll see. We're just probably gonna run it to the eighth because how windy it is. But uh, we'll see how the night goes. Down in Texas, we actually had no like RPM drop, and I was only running 62, 63. I told Circle D like 73, 74, 75. They're like, well, rev it, it'll do better on the drop ship. And I was thinking it would slip more. But uh, I'm going to show you guys what we did to kind of fix that. So, came into the Holly, I went into my outputs, go to shift solenoid configure. Set that to 7,000 RPM. And then in the boost curve, I went ahead and changed that up. Instead of coming all in by four to five seconds, now we're all in by two seconds. And then I taper it from zero out to two. We're at zero on the gate. Oh, and I also need to remember to pull off my, um, I have a timing offset table right here. I'm gonna disable that so we put all the timing in it so we're not I had it pulling timing for the no prep, but now we've got some good track, so take that out. So it looks like we're going to have a little more on the dome, more boost sooner. At, down in Texas, we went to like 17 pounds. I'm going to do this one to like, I think about 13 to 14 pounds. So what this first pass should be, maybe 15, uh, but just want to go easy. I don't want this thing to do a big wheel stand or go crazy. I need to reset the shocks. So just a bunch of little changes to the tune-up for the better track. So we're going to ice it, fuel it, head up there and make our first pass. All right, guys, we're going to go for our first hit. Got that tune-up in it. We'll see what it does. Kind of stab in the dark. I changed shocks. I changed everything. So we'll just kind of see what it does.
you didn't hit the ship, it didn't ship. I wonder if my bottle's out of air pressure. Because I just realized it was left open. If it's out of CO2, it uh, it probably wouldn't ship when I was on it. So you can see we went 157.60, nothing impressive. 624.102, and then 1094.88. I was out of it at four point like nine into the run. I pedaled a little bit where it was spinning here because the track's still not grabbing it. And then right at the one two shift because it was starting to drive to the right. Looking at it, I think that maybe I'll pull the toe in on that side just a little bit. Just it looks maybe a little out from what I would think. I just don't know why it's wanting to pull that way, I guess. But um check that i'm gonna check pressures see if the pressures possibly were the reason why it's wanting to drive that ray uh my gauge is kind of goofy but i thought it was even it's been even there's nothing really changed from texas and it never drove hard right in texas so i'm not I'm not exactly sure what's going on there but uh go over some stuff look at everything and try to go go make another hit we softened up to the 60 foot we add a little tire pressure to see if hopefully it'll want to drive straight and be happier and maybe almost spin the tire a little bit more than like trying to wad it up um the separation on the shock seemed pretty decent and then we're going to really try to wheelie so i'm gonna leave it like that and put a little more in up top and hopefully i can just drive all the way down this time but uh, really going to concentrate on make sure it's not trying to drive right and if it does i'm just gonna get out of it and we got to figure out maybe it's time for another alignment or whatever i'm not 100 percent sure that that like driver a arm's not like moving a little bit because i don't know it seems seems like it's good and then it moves and i have to readjust toe every once in a while so um and when I was down in Texas, it was loose and it was able to move. So then I pushed it back to where I thought it was and all that stuff. So might need to play with the suspension on this thing a little bit more in the alignment. But uh, we're going to go up there. I'll take it real easy and make sure everything's good. And if it feels good, we'll stay in it. And if not, we'll get out of it.
I'm trying to figure out that that's totally what it could have been what's crazy is that it didn't do it to us in Texas so I don't know why it's rubbing but I don't know that's what I got to figure out and see if that's what's causing it or whatever but yeah it's a, it sucks fortunately we're leaving and we didn't make really any progress on the car but uh I mean maybe we made progress we figured out that stuff's rubbing the tire and all that crap it's first time really slick big burnout i'm assuming the tire expanded uh because we actually got a good burnout in on it today on the no preps it like wants to hook and drive through it so maybe it never got the full expansion of the tire on those deals um uh, might look at or what i was thinking is there's a piece of plastic that actually would have should have been in there that would have been protecting the tire from that piece of metal and throughout the last like you know six or seven burnouts doing no prep stuff it like wore that away and now that buffer's gone and that's why it cut the tire so a little frustrating sucks that's an expensive issue but uh i mean depending on how deep they are and how many burnouts you can do you maybe get past it but it's a little sketch um so yeah we'll regroup i'll look at a bunch of data we'll get a game plan together and we'll come back and do some more testing so if you guys want to see more make sure you hit that subscribe button we'll see you in the next video